Hi, uh, William Stewart here again, and uh, I wanted to kind of give you an update of my most recent trip abroad. I was fortunate to travel to Berlin, Germany. I attended the INS World Congress meeting, uh, the 11th, and uh, I really had a great time at this meeting. I had gone to their previous meetings in London, and I also enjoyed the lectures, and so this was another opportunity for me to gather more information to enhance my practice and better serve my clients. Um, one of the lectures that was remarkable was the one by Dr. Michael Salino. He's a rehabilitation physician that many of you probably already know about and seen his lectures at the various pain meetings. I've gotten to know him well and uh, I really like uh, some of the work that he's done. He presented an interesting new topic that I have not heard before and I, uh, I will tell you that the title of his uh, presentation was Can the CSF Pressure Signals Distinguish Catheter Complications from Normal Catheter Function in Subjects who experience loss of intrathecal baclofen therapy. It's a mouthful, but there was a lot of information that he presented. This was a unique study, uh, the first of a kind that I've heard of, uh, that basically assessed CSF pressure within the catheters to determine complications. Um, it was a prospective study, non-randomized, so they were looking for people who had uh, change in clinical status, specifically baclofen patients, and then examining new techniques and procedures to determine catheter patency. But with the advances of new technology, it has given an enhanced ability to assess CSF pressure within an intraspinal catheter. He proposed a certain rationale of three items. He said CSF pressure has a pulsatile quality, and that the new technology, as I stated, has the ability to assess CSF pressure. And then lastly, that there was determined that the CSF pressure can be compared to physician diagnosis as it relates to catheter complications and malfunction. Um, he developed an algorithm and in the course of the study they were able to come up with some very interesting findings. At the conclusion of his study he found that he was able to determine patients who had catheter occlusions. They were accurate at six out of six times at determining catheter occlusion with the new technology. Three out of four catheters they found fractures. And then three out of three cases was something that I found very unique. So they were able to determine microleaks. And microleaks is now starting to come up as a real serious problem with back fin patients. So I, I hope that this is of some benefit to your practice. It was a benefit to mine to hear this presentation. I'm William Stewart. Thank you for this time.